Thank you. Thanks for here uh, in this community call again, uh, my friends. Uh, I am Sandeep Angara. So today I'll be presenting on skipping adaptive cards seamlessly in Microsoft Copilot Studio. Hope I think we are uh, aware all by this time what's Copilot Studio and we are uh, having seen the community people have been building agents, Copilots and Copilot Studio and also using adaptive cards for uh, a good interface for uh, providing um, an interactive user interface for uh, the users to make your co-pilots or agents uh, more intuitive and more usable to your users. So today, uh, let's see. Uh, at some times, uh, if we if users didn't understand the intent of the adaptive cards and they might also require to navigate to other topics even if some adaptive cards are waiting for the inputs. I have seen many uh, challenges over here, like in while I, was, while I was developing some applications or copilot agents on my uh, copilot studio in my current organizations, or even I have seen many questions on our community uh, where in our, um, in our like what we call this uh, community channels and also this uh, user boards uh, many questions over uh, how to skip these adaptive cards and navigate to other topics let's cover that in this demonstration before that a very little intro, uh, intro about me i'm sandeep angara based out of india working for productivity as a senior specialist uh, into the information technology department so i also uh, besides uh, uh, my work at Protivity. I also do uh, community contributions. Recently, I was uh, very excited to share that I have uh, won the uh, Powerful Devs Hackathon as well uh, with one of our Power Pages uh, uh, in the category of Best of Power Pages. So yeah, please, uh, I, have, I have been started uh, uh, very early on my career with the community contributions and also you can find me on LinkedIn and also uh, very recently have launched my personal blog. You can find uh, blogs on Copilot Studio more and also on the Power Platform blogs on over there. So being said that, uh, let's see what was the problem actually and why would we need to skip these adaptive cards? So uh, there is an action in Copilot Studio ask with adaptive card. This node actually shows an adaptive card to the users for uh, where whenever in a in a topic we would need user inputs besides asking them with the question notes we can also do with uh, asking with adaptive cards so this action provides uh, having an adaptive card designed in our adaptive card designer and put it over here so that you can collate all these input fields uh, into a single card and you actually require the user to respond to it so that that's the same action the ask with adaptive cards is actually waiting for uh, the user input when you are using this node in your topics. So, but there are some times when for a seamless interactions because if the if some some of the settings in Copilot Studio when using this particular ask with adaptive card node has been uh, not worked upon, uh, there might be a chance that users may feel a bad experience because uh, they might not know that this adaptive card is actually waiting for their input and they might actually want to navigate to other topics and all uh, uh, expecting other results uh, ex uh, ex uh, expecting other results uh, not with that adaptive card but with uh, the other results that they might want to see so as a result so as I said, there, it, it was actually a bad experience for users. So how do we address this challenge? There are a couple uh, techniques and tricks in the Copilot Studio to address this. So the solution is there are three ways. One, allow, allowing the switching to another topics and then also customizing this uh, home, re-prompting these adaptive cards. Also, there is another requirement that I have seen on our community boards that uh, there is no way to navigate to conversational boosting topic whenever you use the allow switching to another topic. Let's see how it does uh, uh, in a quick demonstration. Before that, I just want to introduce the new uh, I have recently seen in, on LinkedIn that Microsoft team has come up with this amazing uh, new designer for adaptive cards. Earlier it was adaptivecards.io, but today adaptivecards.microsoft.com is a very brand new platform that Microsoft has bring up to design our uh, adaptive cards. They have also been a very new uh, inputs like progress bar, which are in some of them are in preview and 
you can also see the carousel support icon support in teams and also in the different platforms so this was an amazing platform that i was been using uh, uh, from for the last couple of weeks without any ado uh, let's see what was i am talking about so let's say uh, i have a topic called birthday where it have an adaptive card asking me my name and also the birth date as this is the year of 50th birthday of microsoft let's see how this topic works i prompted birthday and then it gave me a card with name and a, uh, a date picker but let's say users users might not be aware that this adaptive card is actually waiting for input and they might casually uh, ask for any other thing like I have another topic called profile where it should be triggering, but this adaptive card being waiting for the user input, it doesn't navigate the user to the other topic. Even though I have a topic called uh, which should trigger with the phrase profile, it is not navigating me to the topic. But how do I solve this? Let's go where we actually configure this adaptive card. There is a topic, as I said, which accepts this name and adapt uh, and the date like date of birth of this from this adaptive card let's click on the three dots let's go to the properties and as i said there is a setting called allow switching to another topic i'll trigger i'll turn it on and i'll select the topic which which topic that this uh, that can be uh, introduced like interrupted with, uh, within this adaptive card so even though uh, the user didn't fill that adaptive card even though the user didn't respond to the adaptive card we are actually making this copilot to allow switching to another topic so that it can so other topic in our case profile a topic with the trigger phrase profile can interrupt this adaptive card and make the user to be navigated to that card and also uh, i'll save this and i'll show you a quick demo by refreshing my test pane and i'll again prompt for birthday It gave me my card again, and let's say a uh, profile. So yeah, yeah, it gave it gave me uh, my it 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 actually navigated me to this profile because when I click here, it it should show the uh, the topic that it is coming from, and I have my topic, and just I'm just displaying my language and display name, uh, the user display name. But again, why is it popping up? So let's see. So there is a. Uh, Another uh, small tweak that you need to do whenever you are navigating here to the other topic and if you are not ending the conversation, it again renavigates or take you back to the same topic and again you it provides you the same adaptive card. So if you don't want that experience to the user, you just go to this topic like whatever the topic that you are dealing with, you just go to it and go to the topic management and end the conversation. Let's see how it works now. I again prompt for birthday. It gave me. I will prompt now. I just don't want to fill any inputs and I'll give profile. It gave me uh, it navigated me to this profile and it doesn't came back to the same adaptive card and is not giving me a bad experience. So this is one way of dealing and skipping the adaptive card seamlessly. Let's say uh, I just uh, let's say uh, I will revert back the. I will actually trigger the same thing and let's say I just want to make a coffee and ask my artificial intelligence say I model how to make coffee. Let's see. No, it's not giving me because I have only set my adaptive card that you are allowed to switch to only the topic called profile. But whenever I ask a question where my topic, any of my topic doesn't address how to make coffee, it doesn't navigate to any other topic. If I have a topic related to making a coffee, I can have a topic and I can select that topic. But I don't have a, a topic that is relevant to coffee and any generic things. I just want to give the experience of generative AI. But do I have uh, the generative AI topic like which is 
uh, let me go back and show you the actual topic. This is the conversational boosting topic, which whenever there is an unknown intent or whenever the user intent can be captured with the existing topics in your copilot, it actually goes to this conversation boosting and answers the user queries using the classic data, classic AI knowledge. So I just want to give that knowledge let, because uh, I don't expect the users to only uh, ask the questions that which I, I have trained my copilot or agent with uh, through my topics. I can also expect that users might ask anything, be it even to answer with the classic AI data. In such cases, uh, you you might have you might be thinking thinking out loud and say yeah, I can just switch to conversational boosting topic, but oops, we don't have that. There is no conversational boosting topic over here. What I did as a workaround was I go to the escalate topic and save, but in the escalate topic because whenever. Let's say if it is actually going to the escalate topic. I'll again navigate to birthday. And it is giving me and let me ask some generic questions like how to make coffee again. It's again giving me. I just need another setting which is reprompting. So I say I would say don't repeat. I don't want to repeat this adaptive card because it is not navigating me exactly and is repeating that app same adaptive card. I'll again say birthday. And I will say how to make coffee. So it gave me how to make a coffee because I in my escalate topic. What I did was I had a, a create generative answers, which is an, another node which actually gives us generative answers. So I have inserted this node and I just edited the data sources and I have toggled on the classic data on web search so that whenever a user might ask questions out of the topics that I have trained the copilot agent so it can also respond with a with the generic uh, classic knowledge classic AA knowledge. So this is how uh, I am skipping my adaptive cards whenever uh, they are required like there might be some business cases where you just don't want to uh, repeat these adaptive cards being uh, waiting the users or making a, a bad experience for users but actually move away to what actually the user wants. That's that's what ultimately we are trying. Whatever the user wants, uh, our application should do that. So for a good, better experience, uh, we are skipping these adaptive cards seamlessly whenever user wants to navigate to other topics. So that was my quick demonstration uh, for this uh, session for this uh, community call. I'll be back with some other interesting stuff for the next session. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you.